How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. This is the biggest boat show of the year, the 2023 FIBS Boat Show. We are here at the convention center today. We're gonna start on the inside. And for all of you guys that can't make it out here, that maybe you don't have the time, or you know, you're far, logistics, and you can't make it out here, I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough. We're gonna check out all the new features, all the boats, the models, and most importantly, the prices, which is what you guys wanna see the most. That's what I've been getting on the comments. So let's go ahead, go inside, and let's see everything there is to see. For us that are in the social media, aspect of the show we get our own little lounge all right so we got our social media pass and now let's get into the show all righty and since we have a special pass we get to come in early and let's check out everything out. Now, where should I begin? Oh, maybe right here, Sea Hunt. All right, guys, so let's start here at Sea Hunt. And we're gonna start with the first boat on their fleet, which is a 21. This 21 comes with a 150. Price on it, boat show price is 69,274. Step up here real quick. You guys have seen this. this is like the one that Henry has, but has the whole seat in the back. Here in the bow, you have seating. Little seat right here. Show you guys the head. You got a Garmin. And again, guys, this is... 69 for a 21 brand new 2024. Now the next boat is going to be this guy right here. You got an extra foot here. Same layout. But the 229 comes, beside with an extra foot, you get another 50 horsepower, up to a 200. Next up is the 23. Boat show price, 97. This 23 is very capable. I've had a couple of these follow me to Bimini. They take the chop very well, kind of same layout. Get an extra foot with the 23. And the best part about this boat is that it comes with a 250. I've actually seen these with a 300 also, which is right next to it, right here. So this would be the 239 with the 300 is 108. Okay, then after that, we jump up to a 225, which is 122. You also got a 300, but this 25 is a lot bigger. You got the full seating back here. Got a little bench. These things that pop out, so you can put your feet on them. Cup holders. Have a Garmin. And it's like the Ultra, they have a little bit of a slant in the front. Nice little cup holder also there. You can also pull this off so you can walk in there. You have storage under both seats and here on the bottom. And once you get the 25, you got the full windshield. So even if you're getting sprayed on, how you guys are gonna see on my next video, this will stop that. Once you get here to the 25, you're getting in, you know, a whole nother category once you jump from the 23s. Let's keep on moving up. Alrighty, moving on up, we got the 26. Goes for 139. This one comes 
with the twin 150s. I like the fact that you have twin engines because if you're ever crossing, both engines are not gonna go out. Maybe one of them does, but not both of them. Best part about this boat is once you're in the 26, you got the double doors, double dive doors. You got on both sides dive doors. You have your back seating here. This is the Ultra, of course. Have station right here, clean your hands, put bottles. Again, 139. It's not bad for this boat, guys. You guys got your dual controls here. You got your Yamaha screen, your Garmin. Up here in the front, have your bow area. You have the windlass, also the screen. And this is a really, really good boat. Alrighty, moving on up. We got the 27. 27 is going for 161. This one comes with the twin 200s. You can also upgrade them for twin 250s. There's another one that I'm gonna show you right after this one that has those twin 250s. But look how much bigger you, space you have here already. Just from one foot to the next, how much wider it feels. This has already also, once you get into the 27, this is the table that raises up and down. This can be here, or you can put it up as a table. Once you get into the 27, you have that option. This boat with twin 250s, I mean, I like my 30, but really you don't need more than that. If you get this boat with the twin 250s, Maybe you notice a little bit if you're out in a really, really nasty chop, that extra three foot, but I love that color too. It's like a baby blue. It wasn't an option when I got my boat. Now this is this, the, this is the Game Fish 27 coffin with the twin 250s. 189. Yeah, once you get to the twin 250s, that's big boat status right there. Instead of the live station, you have a live well back here. You have this bench that pulls down. Oh, they changed this. Now it's only one. It used to be two. Two of these hooks. You have another live well over here. And then the difference is this coffin right here. You have full walk around capability. You can also open this right here. Let's take off the other side. And you also have a fish box here too. Also another live well here in the front. So you don't have to go all the way to the back to get more bait. Again, this boat is brand new at 182. Boat show price. Oh, the toilet's different on this one too. Last but not least is the 30 forward seating. 230. That is not a bad price, guys. Now I have the Game Fish forward seating. This is the new Ultra 305. 2024 boat show price is 236 also comes with the twin 300s the big difference is they don't have the big you know box back here for you to be able to put you know your stuff they have the actual the cooler here that pulls out the yeti right here you do have a little bit of storage under here take these cushions off small little storage here same under these, you have the whole huge station. Here, entertainment station, you have wireless chargers here on the sides. You have the full joystick, your helm, twin garments, full enclosed. Got the big head, same thing I got. But the big difference is they got the table. It's the table that goes up and down. It's the biggest game changer on this boat. It's the table. Cobia's had it, now Sea Hunt has it. 
feel right at home when I'm on this boat. <laughs> and again, 236. All righty, let's get out of here and go check out everything else at the boat show. Another brand that I really like is Blackfin. So let's check out the lineup of the Blackfin boats. Start from the smallest to the biggest. All right, guys, so we're starting here on a 2023 25 CC Blackfin. Goes for $194,000. We have twin Mercuries. These are, I believe, 200s. Yep. Nice little door here. You have a bench seat that folds up. Kind of like the center console of Ultra. You have that cooler, Yeti cooler that comes out. A little bit of a station here. Let's see what this is. Live well. You do not have a door on this one. No, no door on this 25. You have your Garmin, your Mercury. These seats kind of like Sea Hunt pop up, down. You don't have a full screen, you have half of a screen. Here, these are pretty cool because these fold. These go up and fold in. It's a nice little area here. Storage here, let's check this out. Nice big storage down there. And leave the helm opens like this in the front. See your head right there. Next up on the black fin lineup is the 27. This 27 comes with, I believe, 300 Verados. Yep. You have your door here. Again, this 27, like the 25, doesn't have any side doors. This one has a see-through, so you can see the fish are swimming in the live wall. Your pull-out Yeti. Kind of like the same layout, except here you have dual screens. You have the full windshield. Just can, this goes up and down if you want to get some air. Have your forward seating area, kind of like the 25. Let's see, does this come with the windows? Yes, it does. And just like has this big sealed door. This looks like it's waterproof or something. Opens up. You have a nice big area here. This is 27. Let's jump over to the 30. 27 is 260. Alrighty, this is the 30. This is the boat that competes with the Sea Hunt. Goes for 346000 so a lot more expensive. Ooh, I like this feature here, this little ladder that kind of comes out here. That's pretty cool. You got, of course, the 300 Verados, big platform back here that you can walk. Your live well. No dive door, or actually, yes. There is a dive door on the 30. Have this bench seat that kind of extends and closes. You got your Yeti cooler. You got storage here on the sides. You got your joystick of Mercury. Throttles, twin garments, full windshield. The bathroom's a lot bigger. There's a table there that you can also put here. In the front on that little platform right here storage down here and under the seats very nice boat back has a bench seat also after the 30 blackfin has a 33 foot edition 
33 goes for 456,000. Let's check it out. This is a whole different class once you leave the 30s and come into the 33s, 35s. We got twin 400 Brados. Oh wow, it's big and spacious here. You have the pull-out bench, just like the other models. Washed out, you have twin coolers and a live well here, like this here that you could kind of hold on if you're standing back here. Full station, more live wells here. Probably a sink, yep. Another sink here maybe, yep, another sink. If you want to go up to the top, that kind of opens up. Your dive door, which is pretty big. Oh, this is nice. Looks like a fighter jet. You have three seats. You also have this that bends down. This looks really nice. I like this layout here. And I like the fact that if I want to drive the boat, I'm here and I'm not in the middle of these other two right here. I like that. Oh man, this is big. What's this here? Oh wow, this has a whole ladder. I guess here for racks that you can close in. Big area here. Big coffin chair here also. Oh, that's big. Comes with two buckets, buoys. It's nice. See the inside, how big it is. Hmm, looks like it's pretty deep down there not to sleep but it has for storage you got your ladder that's big big space i'm telling you guys once you get to the 33s it's a game changer all right now we're gonna check out robalo all right starts here with 20 foot robalo boat show price is 77 comes with a yamaha 200 Little pop up chairs here, cooler under. Not a bad boat to start. Here we got a 23 for 101. This comes with a 250. Oh, I like the fact that these chairs can bend down all the way and you can fish from back here. You got your cooler down here. Your helm area with dual chairs. Pretty nice. Forward area here. I believe that this opens like this. That's pretty big. Nice head. This one doesn't have the price on it. This is a, I believe a 26 Robala. Nice and wide. Has a dive door, pull out chair, storage here on the sides, your cooler, helm area, forward seating. I believe this one opens just like the other one. A little bit bigger, the head area. But you got a full windshield, I like that. And you have twin engines. Like I said, you lose one, still got the other. This is their 27 center console. Comes with twin 250s. You got your dive ladder down here. Nice big open space. This feels huge back here. Have the pull out bench. Dive door, live well. Another live well here. Here's where your cooler's at. Nice area here. It's really nice. These seats look really comfortable too. Nice and wide area here. It's where your garments will go. Big forward area here, the bow, 
and I suppose this has the same mechanism as the 26, which is the head. Full windshield also. Really, really nice boat. Not bad for the price either. Check out the 30. This is the Robalo 30. Goes for 240,000. Boat show price. Kind of competes with the Sea Hunt, the Cobia. Got the twin 300s, of course. Have your door back here. Nice dive door. I'm not sure about this design. You can kind of see through it. Maybe in rough weather, I think like water might be able to squeeze in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Got your bench seat back here. Full access to the back. If you lift this up, right? Huge bench area here. A lot bigger back here than my boat, that's for sure. Nice. Has a little place to put your phone. Just keep it away from the elements. Nice, really wide windshield. Has this little area here so you can have the back space. Let's see the size of their helm. Oh, wow, it's pretty big. Walk in there. Really nice boat. Has a windshield wiper also. Very nice. Storage here on the bottoms. Which my boat doesn't have. This is a very nice boat for the price. And I know they ride pretty good. This right here is their 36. Robalo makes a 36 foot boat. Goes for 538,000. Let's jump up here and check it out. We got triple 300s back here. We have live well on both sides. We have your dive door on both sides also. We have a huge bench here, pull out Yeti. Storage here on the floor in the back. Oh my God, look at this cockpit. Seats fold up. like this look. Ooh, this 36 has a bed. And it has AC, like the Cobia does. Very nice. Huge seating area up here. I love this blue and black, it really looks nice. Have the bow area. JL speakers everywhere you look. It's really nice. Let's check this. Wow, it's pretty big. And you got storage here on the sides. Garbage can on this side. Let's see, different drawers on this side. You have storage here. This lifts up. You have storage for your rods. Robalo has a really nice 36, I like it. Now let's check out Sea Fox right across. Alrighty, here we have the 24 center console. It goes for 119,000. Let's check this boat out. I like this little door. Step over it for now. Oh, that's different. So they got this back helm, they have a live well back there. Huge Yeti cooler. Seats, little helm area here. Now I've never seen a center console that you can't walk around fully on. It's kind of like it's extended here. Have another little seat that pops up. So never seen this before. What happens if you have a fish and it wants to take you this way? Here in the front. Oh, these are nice. This stitching right here. This is pretty cool. I see why they did it now, because it gives you a full lounge area here. And this is nice too to have. Let 
Next up is their 26, goes for 139,000. Now this one doesn't have a little side area. This one you can actually walk all the way through it. Nice big coffin table and coffin chair. I really like the stitching on these boats. This pops forward. Let's check the helm area here. Nice decent size. Oh, that's cool. That's a live well, see-through. You have a dive door here. This is the 26 Sea Fox. Let's keep on going up. Alrighty, next up is the 28 Sea Fox. Goes for 219,000. Nice live well, double live well actually. I like how this seat bends down and you have a step here. That's a pretty cool feature right there. Bench seat pops up. You have your cooler, battle station, dive door, storage here on the bottom. These seats are really, really nice. I like this type of stitching. Dual garments, full enclosed, have a sunroof up here also, dual charging stations, I really like that. You got all your helm controls here, let's check out the 30s, big, big head, looks bigger than mine's, this is a 28. This has a table, it does not go up and down, it's actually there, you can take it on and off huge coffin chair right here. I really, really like the stitching on this boat. Never been on a Sea Fox in the ocean before. You got little drawers under the seats also, the cabinets actually. Very nice. This is a 32. I guess they jumped from 28 to 32. I don't see a 30 here. So next up is the 32 that goes for 329,000. Again, this is already a different class of boat once you leave the 30 foot boat. You got twin 400s, V10s. Again, I really like this little step here. You have a bunch of storage here on the sides. Dual live wells. You can see through it. You got your dive door. You got your pull out cooler. You got your whole area here you have three chairs it's really nice I like how it's tilted the screen very nice here one thing I don't really like if you guys see that when you're walking by you kind of got to scoot to the side but it's no big deal let's check their head have a little bed there also, which I wouldn't sleep in, but there is a bed. Oh, this is nice. Dual chairs with cup holders in the middle. Have your table, lounge tables. I like this. Mm, one thing I really don't like, this is not electric. You gotta kind of push this out. But not a big deal. You do have a sunroof. Very nice. Now this is their biggest model. They have a Sea Fox 36.8. Comes with twin 425s. Actually 450s. I stand corrected. 450s. Has a full dive ladder back here. I guess this folds up. You're not going to use it. Huge boat. Let's get up there. Check out this 36. We got a live well on both sides. Pull out bench. What are these things right here? Oh, coolers. Wow. Very cool. Refrigerated coolers on both sides. That is very cool. 
storage under. You have your Yeti cooler. You have your whole station here. Drawers. Two little small seats here on the side. You got your dive door. Only on one side. Wow, look at that speaker. It's huge. Huge Garmin screens. You see, it's not like the other one. This actually is flush here. Hey, you got a little cabin in here. What's this? Oh, for your shore power. Your AC. Very nice. Three chairs. Full Garmin display. You got your joystick over there. Very nice. Huge. You see, this one you can sleep in. Look at that. Sleep too, very easily there. Table goes up and down. This pops up and down to make it a lounge. Very, very nice. Why is it that I like all the expensive boats? Now we're gonna check out one of my personal favorite brands, Invincibles. I got an Invincible once, a 33 with twin 300s. It was a little bit of a choppy day, and man, these Invincibles, one thing that they're famous for is how well they do in a chop and in bad weather. It's incredible. The guys here at Plantation are the ones running the Invincible booth, so I'm gonna say what's up to them. Start with the smallest one first. Check that out, huge, insulated. Ugh. You guys got it storage here in the bottom. And that's just it, that's, these boats are very plain. They don't come with a lot of options. But what you're getting here is the fact that this thing will take whatever you throw at it. Love these boats. Next up, you got the 39. I love their model, when you're serious. They're right about that. Damn, this is huge back here. You have so much space. This bench is actually triple seats. You got your full helm here. Three different seats. There are bow thrusters. Huge head in there, but no bed. Like other 36s that you guys have already seen. Huge area here to fish. These boats mean business. Wish I had this in the next video you guys are gonna see coming back from Bivany. <laughs> And the biggest one they have here is the 43 Open Fisherman. You got four 400s, I believe. Live well. This one actually has seats. You got these little bench seats right here that close up. So when you want to fish, they don't get in the way. A huge cooler that pops out. You got some drawers here. stores whatever you want now this I love two rows right here you have the back row you have the front row I really like that oh, these new mercury's come with a little meter here all enclosed this thing feels so long this actually has seating in the front forward seating storage on the bottom Look at that bed. I think Shaquille O'Neal fits in there. Wow, look at this, guys. So this one actually has some kind of bed on the bottom. Station. Very nice in here. All right, guys, now let's check out C-Pro and their lineup. All right, guys, here at C-Pro, let's start with their 24. 
108,000. Comes with a 300 Suzuki. Nice little live well here. What's this? Wash down. It's pretty cool. Another little insulated live well you could put there. Bench seat that pulls out. You have your cooler at the bottom of the seat. You got your helm area here. Let's walk up to the bow. Let's check out the head real quick. Nice little head area here. Feels big for a 24. Nice little area here. Has a hole there so you can put a table. Very nice entry level boat. I love the blue colors here. It's a very nice feature. Little details like that make the boats look really cool. Here we have the 24. Comes with a 300. They call this the sandbar edition. Has full bench seating back here. Live well. Ooh, I like that. The seats, they can twist around and you can face the back. Dual screens. You have your table here that you can put. A lot of storage. Let's check the head. Well, it's full of stuff right now, but decent sized head on this 24. But I really like this feature. And check this out too. You could put this facing the back, or you could put it there facing the forward. Very cool. Ski toe. Very nice. Let's jump right over to the 26 for 165,000. Nice dive door here. Very cool live wall right here in the center. Have another one back here. Pull out bench. Twin 200 Suzuki's. This one has different colors that you can change. You got your Garmin. Actually, that's a Sinrad. Very nice. Even nicer than the Invincible I just showed you guys. Very nice, spacious head. Forward seating here. You can take that bench off so you can walk all the way to the front if you want to fish it. I like this. I've never seen this type. It's like grayish. Very nice. Never been on one of these in the ocean, but very nice boat. Let's jump over to the 30. It's right here. It's a 29.2, but technically a 30. Goes for 219,000, not a bad price. Comes with twin 300 Suzuki's. Got your big bench seat back here. Pops up. Live well. Both sides. Kind of like this little thing they have here around it. Looks really nice. Have your live well here. Let's walk here, let these guys do their thing. Got storage. Very open space back here. I love the color of these things. Look at that speaker, holy crap. I have a size 12 in. Look at that. Wow. Here we have the Suzuki engines booth. All kind of engines here. Now, I'm not a hater of Suzuki's, not a fan on, of them, but I do gotta say they're very reliable. I haven't had anybody that says, hey, you know, my Suzuki blew out. You don't really hear about that. And they stand by. They stand by their products. Have the best warranty in the market also. So I gotta give them that. It's the biggest one that they have, which is a 350. So the internals of it. Right across we have Mercury. 
Here's a big bad boy, 500R. I always tell everybody, you wanna go fast, Mercury is your best choice. It's the biggest one of their fleet of naturally aspirated, which are the 400s, V10s. And then of course they have the huge 600 V12s. You guys saw this on the Hydrosport. I'm sorry, not the Hydrosport, the HCB. 600 Verado. The top does not move, the bottom does. That's how big it is. Dual propeller. But these guys are top of their class when it comes to the racing team. Nobody beats Mercury's out in the water. Here we got the Yamahas, which is my favorite brand when it comes to outboard engines. Love the fact that they're the most reliable. Love the fact that they have the helm and joystick, which works awesome. This kind of shows you their system, how it works when you use the joystick. All their propellers that they have. But what I really want to see is the new 450. Where's it at? Is this the new 450? Oh, yeah. If I could have two of these behind my sea hunt, I'd be the happiest man in the world. I love how they have, like, it's almost like carbon fiber inside the letters. Very nice. Let's check out the first brand here, which is a 22. It goes for 84. Nice gray seating. Really like that pull-out bench. That's your live well. Have your little bench seat here, cooler on the bottom. Small little Sinrad, audio. Oh, wow, has a nice table here that you can take off and on. Really like the gray on these seats too, really nice. Let's check out the head. Nice little head too. Nice entry level boat right here. Next door, this is 23. It's a little bit of more bench seating in the back but also has the table. Actually, this is also a 22, but it's the version that's less for fishing, more for sandbars. That's why it has the bench seat in the back. Kind of like the Sea Hunt where it's the Ultra and the Game Fish. All right, guys, this is the 24. It goes for 109. Way bigger this 24. Nice full bench in the back. Live well. That's pretty cool. Feature has a little pad here you can put your feet on. That's these bench seats that fold up and down. Got your helm area. Very nice bow. Storage down there. You got your head here also. Very nice entry level boat, guys. 109. Almost a full windshield. Just a little small gap right here. But very cool. Like that. Yamaha. 250. Now we're jumping up to a 28. Goes for 194. Has twin 300 Yamahas. There's a cooler here. Very nice cooler. You got a cut board. You also have live well, pull out bench seat here. Pull out Yeti cooler. Have another live well here. Storage, cut board. Helm area here. Two sin rides, nice seating. Check the head, a little bit bigger head on this 28. 
huge bow area here. Put a table. That's where it actually goes on the table. And very nice boat. I know the fishing cup will have one of these. Very nice. Let's check out Tidewater. Here's their full lineup. They start at 19, starting at 43. Got the 23, about 89. 27, 158. 29 to 12. They go all the way up to 38. So let's check it out. All right, so let's start here with their 25. Goes for a 159.99. This has twin 200s, I believe. Very nice pull-out bench. Live well here. I love that it has access to the backside, aside from the dive door. You have another little live well back here, in the station. This is... Very nice. I love this stitching right here. Like the little feature of the lights where you put your cup holder. Full enclosure on this 25. Very nice bow area. Very nice seating. I love that two tone, that black and white. Have your coffin top right here also. Very nice. This pulls out, pulls up, and then out. Have a port right here. Very nice boat. This is their 27, 167. Kind of like the 25, pull out bench, live well. This one has twin, I believe. 250s, Mercury's. Have a huge life well here. Storage on the floor on both sides. Like that baby blue head area. <laughs> That'd be cool if this was a full screen, right? Like a Tesla, but that's where you put your garments. This one doesn't have them yet. Seats have, you know, armrest. Nice head area here. I don't know why, but this area seems so wide and huge on this 27. Coffin just like the 25. Full bow lounge area here. Full screen also. And I really like this baby blue. Not a big fan of the connections being out here, but I guess it's easier to access. Very nice. Let's check out the 28. Alrighty, guys, this is... The 28, it goes for 187. Same thing as the 27, you have a full pull-out bench. You have dual doors, dual dive doors. You have dual live wells. This also has twin 300 Yamahas. You have another live well here. It's three lives well. Put a wash down here. This one hasn't had the GPSs put on yet, but that's where they will go. Very nice seating here. I like that two-tone color. Have charging port. Nice big head area here. Bigger than my 30, that's for sure. A big coffin top. Very nice. Now from their 28, they jump up to 32. This is goes for 299. 300,000 comes with twin mercury 400s the v10s this all right guys there are some guys talking in the back so we're going to start in the bow i love the dual speakers in the front this looks like it goes up and down yes it's a full table again once you get past 30 foot these boats are animals. Back seating, this folds up to the front also. Full, enclosed. I love this little handle here so when you're walking by, you can hold on to this. It's a pretty cool feature. Love the helm area here. Nice, big, comfy looking chairs. 
You got all your buttons here. Very, very nice. Here in the head, you actually have a bed in there on this 32. Don't think two people could sleep in there, but there is a little bed in there. Pull out bench. Live well over there. Very nice. Now let's check out the biggest boat they have here, which I believe is a 38. All right, the biggest boat that Tidewater has is a 38. Goes for $704,000, that's the boat show price. Let's get up on this big bad boy right here. You have dual entry, dive doors. Have dual live wells on both sides. You have a pullout chair and look at that huge speaker hiding back there. Oh wow, this is cool. This actually has a little bench so you can sit all the way up here. Very cool, I like that. I like that a lot. I also like the triple Mercury's too. <laughs> Gotta like that. It's a very cool feature here. Elevated up here. Drawers here on the sides. Wow, look at this. It's probably the nicest helm that I've seen today so far. Three Sinrad screens. Wow. Three chairs. Sunroof. See, that's a big bed right there. Me and my wife fit there. Very nice head area. Oh my God, look at this bow. A little entertainment center here, table that goes up and down. Huge, and I mean huge. Very wide. It's a very nice boat. Very, very nice. Wow, I really like this. All right, guys, now we're here at Sea Hunter. A lot of people get Sea Hunter and Sea Hunt confused, but it's a totally different boat. This is their 28. They don't have the price listed, but either way, I'm gonna show you guys the boat. It has twin 300s back here. It's another one of these boats in that category that are serious fishermen, have dual live wells. Huge cooler back here that also serves as a bench. I also have storage along the floors. Little bench seat right here, not much to it. Have all the Garmin and electronics. This is fiberglass, by the way, you can take this off. Have your helm area here. Bo, I just heard somebody say it costs three hundred thousand dollars. This Sea Hunter right here. That's a beautiful Sea Hunter right there too. All right, guys, this is the thirty-foot Sea Hunter. This boat is about three hundred and eighty thousand. Got the twin three hundred Yamahas. Dual life wall. You have the full bench back here. And it serves as a cooler, storage all along the floors. Helm area, I like this carbon fiber here. Very cool. Nice helm area here. Coffin top. Has the, it's actually made by Garmin. That's pretty cool, I didn't know Garmin made those. Oh, this one actually has helm. That's why it's about it the 400, because it has also a station on the top. Not many 30s that can offer a station to drive on top. See, you can come in through right here. Very nice boat. This is one of their biggest boats right here. Oh, this is huge. I believe this is a 40 foot Sea Hunter. Love this station right here for fishing. Massive boat, has four 450s. Has two rows of seating. AC that I just felt as I passed by. I love the wood fittings on this. You have four screens, guys, four. Not one, not two, not three, four. 
You can also get up there and drive from the top. It has a helm station up there too. It's just so freaking long. Look at this, you have another <laughs> fishing station here in the front. That is awesome, I haven't seen that. Serious, serious fishing boats, guys. Sea Hunter does not play. This boat has to be close to the million dollar range, easily. Wow, look at the head of this Sea Hunter. Full bed, have bathroom, all your connections in here. Let's check out the bathroom. Very nice bathroom. And you can shower from right here and the water won't come out. Very cool. All right guys, we just have a few more companies we want to check out before we go to the wet docks over at the other section of the boat show. I believe we got to take a water taxi to get there, which is a lot shorter and less traffic. So once we're done checking out Yellowfin, we got Contender, Grady White, We'll hop on over to see the rest of the boat show. Alrighty guys, let's start with Grady White's 23 Fisherman. Goes for $169,000. This one has a single 300 Yamaha. Let's jump aboard and see what she looks like. Very nice, feels very wide. I love the platform that extends next to the engines like that. A lot of storage here. Live well. Another cooler area here. Love the ladder back there. Very nice spacious pull-up bench. You have your helm area here with joystick. I like that it's full enclosure. Nice bow area here. I've always heard good things about Grady White. And for a 23, I think this is like the most equipped 23 I've seen today. It has the full enclosure. And I really like this back area, how it extends like that. It's pretty cool. I looked around and they didn't have any other center consoles from the 23. The next one they have up is the 30, which comes with the twin 300s and competes directly with my 30. It's a Grady White Canyon 306. Let's jump up there and see what she looks like. All righty, this is their 30. Very wide boat, feels like. Is this what I think it is? All right, I thought my cooler was big. This one's not as deep, but it's way wider. Very nice. You have pull out bench right here. You have your dive door on this side. Have your station back here with live well. Let's see what this is. Wash down area. Here's your helm. You have two seats. Love the speakers. And then like a little glove compartment here. Pretty cool. Joysticks. Here in the front, you have this that folds, comes up and folds. I guess the table goes here. Very nice seat there. Nice wide head area, a lot bigger than my 30. Very nice. Grady Whites are very nice. I love that it has a door that you can walk out to the back also if you want to come in through the back of the boat. Very nice. They also have a 38, which is the next one after the 30. I don't see price on it. This is an all new boat. So you guys will be checking it out for the first time here on the channel because this boat just came out. Oh, actually they do got it right here. This boat goes for almost a million dollars. 998. Huge, very, very wide boat. 
Look at the size of this cooler back here. You have twin 425s, actually 450s. Huge live wheel over here. Dual dive doors. Thank you. I'm happy with mine, so I don't know you will. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pull-out bench. Awesome station back here. You can grill your stuff here. Wash your hands. You have drawers on the bottom. You have the helm area here. Twin garments. Joystick bow thrusters. You have four seats, guys. Four. Sunroof. To make our way to the bow, storage along the sides, table that goes up and down, so do these backrests. Huge coffin area, and I love that wraparound glass. Place to leave your stuff there, your phone. Very, very nice. Another wash down here. And here you don't get in to the cabin through the side of the boat. You can actually right here next to the helm. You just drop down right through here. Wow, this is nice. Goes deep all the way down there. And then this, I'm sure, there's a platform so you can make this a whole bed. You have microwave, sink, television, and you have nice bathroom with a shower. It's really nice. Maybe if I was a millionaire, I can buy me something like this. Very nice 38. All right, we're here at Yellowfin. I love Invincibles. I told you the little story how I've been on an Invincible before and I fell in love with it. These Yellowfins are on that same level, at least in my personal book. I love these Yellowfins. They ride absolutely awesome. They have, don't quote me on this, but I believe they have the same patent as Invincible for the whole design. And these little boats, they are absolutely amazing. Let's start with this guy right here. This is a 26 hybrid. Don't see the price on it. Let's see if when we get up there, we can find it. But this comes with twin 250s. It's a beautiful boat. It has the live well. It has the beautiful seating back here. Here in the helm, you have the dual garments. I love the stitching on the seats also, the speakers. Here in the front, you have your chair, forward seating area. This boat can get you in very shallow water, but it can also take you across the Bimini because it has the performance capability to do that. That's why I call it a hybrid. Do a little bit of everything. After the 26, we hop on the 32. This 32 does not have a dive door, but you do have live well twin 300s. Actually, I'm sorry, these are twin 350s. Very plain boat, kind of like the Invincible. Not a lot of features, not a lot of things on it, but the performance on these boats is what sets them apart from the rest. The way they can take a chop, the entry level, the flare. These boats are not only comfortable dry rides, they're fast. This is the 36 right here. Um, it's pretty full of people right now, so I'm not gonna hop on there, make it even more crowded. None of these boats here have the price. I love this 36, but since it's kind of full right now, let's hop over. I believe this is a 39, the next one up. These boats have to be already close to the million dollar range. Oh, I've been showing you guys, once you get past 30 foot, these 39s, next level. So let's get up here and check it out. You have four 400s back here. This thing must fly. You have your live well, see through here. Huge fishing area back here. Have your seat back here. It pops up. No, I thought it was a cooler in there, but it's only a seat. You have three 
seats right here. Your helm area. I love the black. Full enclosed. Have your head area. Again, guys, these boats are very, very simple boats. They're fishing machines. That's what they're known for. I know this is a big cooler. Just look at this boat different from this boat right here next door that we just checked out the Tidewater. Look at all the custom stuff that it has, the seats. And this boat that's a lot more expensive, it's a lot more plain because they're fishing boats. This boat doesn't even have dive doors. Now I've been toying with the idea of getting one of these little jet boats. They're basically jet skis with bodies. They have throttles like a regular car. They have this one that's two seater. They also have seen that are four seaters. And these things look hilarious in the water. But I think this would be awesome for the channel. Imagine one day me crossing in one of these jet cars. That would be crazy. Hey, welcome to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. My name is Mike Mullinger. I am the owner of Pier One Yacht Sales, and we are the proud dealer for the water sports cars. So these water sports cars are manufactured in Miami, in Aqualock, actually, Florida. And uh, they come in four different body styles. So this is styled, uh, this is Series X. Kind of looks like a McLaren, a Corvette kind of body style. We also have a Series M that looks like an old Mercedes Roadster Coupe. We have a four-seater Bugatti and another two-seater Aston Martin that in my opinion looks like the Speed Racer car, but that's just showing my age. So these things are a ton of fun. They are Coast Guard certified, so US Coast Guard certified. Navigation lights, bilge pump. Come standard with 180 horsepower, high output Yamaha jet ski engine. Uh, they do perform a lot like a jet ski, so it's a ton of fun. You can go into hard turns and it digs in like a jet ski. Uh, they do come with stereo systems. You can upgrade a stereo system with speakers and amps. This one has a custom through-haul exhaust, so it sounds like a race car and you get a little better performance out of the engine. You can also upgrade to a 250 horsepower supercharged Yamaha jet ski motor to really get you going across the water. And what speeds are, is that, is that one showing? So this one will do probably 55, 60, that'll do 75, 80, depends on the water and, and exactly how sane you might be. <laughs> <laughs> also, what is the holding tank? How many gallons do you know? It is? So it's got, so the gas tank is 18 and a half gallons. So you can have a lot of fun for a long time. The reason why I ask is because I'll probably take it to Bimini one day. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Be the first one across in one of these. Yeah, we organized some cruisers for these. So the water sports car community is a growing community. So we're doing some cruises, um, you know, group events, poker runs, that sort of thing. Uh, you can get it painted however you want. Uh, you can get custom paint jobs. Uh, I've seen some painted like the Batmobile, some like the Barbie car. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to get the Aston Martin painted like a speed racer. That's that's my goal. But uh, but yeah, they're a heck of a lot of fun. Really high quality product. I mean, they do a really good job on it. I've shopped all the companies that are making these types of vessels, and this is absolutely the best on the market. And what is one of these starting at? What would they cost? So they start at about sixty thousand uh, dollars. This one at the show right now is seventy-two thousand dollars, but we got a show special going on for sixty-six. So uh, yeah, I mean, they're a lot of fun on the water and you can have a great time. And if somebody wants to buy one of these, where can they find them? Great, so uh, yeah, go to pier1yachtsales.com or you can call our office at 941-639-7777 and we've got 60 brokers to help you out and get the right car put together for you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate great, it, appreciate it, thanks brother. Guys, well, how cool would it be to do a video with one of those little jet boats all in the keys? They're up for it, and I'm too, so that might be coming up in the channel in the future. For now, we got Contender. We got a couple other models we want to see before we head over to the wet docks. So here we go. All righty, guys. Here we're in Edgewater. We're going to start with their 23. The FIBS price is 161 This comes with, I believe, a 300 Come back here. Have a small little live well the pull-out bench like in most center consoles. You have your, your cooler that pops out. Have your Garmin, nice little helm area here. Very comfy chairs. 
have your forward bow area here with these backrests. And the head, I believe, opens here through the front. Let's check it out. Very nice. Nice size. 161,000. Let's hop over now to the 26, right next door. Next up is their 26. It goes for about 265,000. Twin 200s can be upgraded to 250s. You have the pull-out bench. You have a dive door and a back door to get it out through the back if you want to. You got your live wheel. You have a very nice entertainment center here with a bunch of drawers you can pull out, storage on the floors. Nice little wash down. Very nice. I love this up here. It looks like kind of like marble. You have your dual seats, very nice and wide. If you notice, kind of goes out as you get to this area here. Very nice, clean station. Dual screens, fully enclosed. Another one of these boats that have this little area for the backrest. Very nice stitching on the seats. I really like that. And also, your head is accessible through the front, just like the other boat. But this one's a lot bigger. Very nice. After the 26, we have the 28. This one's priced at 352000 It's got the twin... 300 Yamahas, lots of lighting, very bright, a lot of lights. Have your pull-out bench, live wheel back here, very spacious. Now I don't see a dive door on this one, so no dive door on this one, on this 28. It's weird because the 26 has, but not the 28. Or am I mistaken? Yep, no, no dive door. Very nice helm area. You can come out through there if you want to put a station on the top. Oh wow, for a 28, I've never seen one with a little bed, but this 28 has one. Put a table there in the front also. I like this round area here. Very nice. Not sure what this is for. Thought it was maybe a vent for the head, but it's not really anything. Oh, I guess for the air to come through here, you can open these ducts. That's pretty cool. Nice feature there. If you want some fresh air, since I guess this doesn't open like other models, you can just open it through here. Very cool. Now they don't have a 30, but they do have a 34. This 34 is priced at 625,000. Once you pass that 34 range, guys, remember you're in a different level. You got the twin 450s. Nice access. Again, like other boats, I like that the platform extends past the engines. Pull out bench, live well. You have storage here along the whole boat on the floor. Your pull out cooler. Your entertainment center here. nice clean helm area here with dual seats and it's, it has this platform so you can stand up very nice bow area here huge coffin top let's check out the head oh this one doesn't have a bed just a restroom All right, this is their biggest boat, which is a 37. It goes for $783,000. Let's check this out. Huge area back here. Those are twin 300 Yamahas. You have your shore power connections all back here, close to the shore. Have a grill area. Is this a bench seat? Yep, bench seat that pops out. Have another one back here have a huge cooler back here kind of like my game fish with a wash down that's pretty cool <laughs> a 
very big, almost like four seats. It's three, but four fit. Bow thrusters, very nice helm area. I like this black power corded on the top too. Here we have a table that goes up and down. Very nice that you can tuck in cup holders here. Hydraulic table. Very, very nice. And like the other Grady White we saw, the entrance to the cabin is right here next to the console. Very nice bed. I think me and my wife can fit there comfortably. We have a TV, microwave, refrigerator, and shower and bathroom. Very nice. We're here at AMP. These are some cool center consoles that they're doing here. Let's check one out. All right, this is a AMP boat. This, I believe, is a 33. It comes with twin 400 racing Mercury's. You have a cooler here, nice little station here that you can have storage. Full seating in the back. Nice little cup holders with lights. I love this right here. You can shower. The water will come out from here. Speakers everywhere. You have these steps right here so you can get in and out of your boat on the side very comfortably. I really like this boat, guys. I love this. That looks like a Tesla. Pops up. You have two screen there, Garmin's. Two seats here, very comfortably. I love the stitching on this also. Enclosed here. Have a full lounge chair here. Storage on the bottom. More cup holders here. Speakers everywhere. Love how you have a handle here also. Really, really nice feature. And I love the steps here on the side too, how you can just put your foot here and step out. And here, if you're sitting here, you can hold on here. This feels very good. Let's check out the head, the inside. Nice little bed in here, your head. Very cool boat. I like this boat a lot. All right, guys, we're here with Sailfish. This is their 27 model. They have a boat show special for 204. This boat is very nice. It's equipped with the twin Mercury 200s. One thing I really like about this boat is this that extends past the trim tabs, but they have a little storage here. So if you want to put, you know, you're at the sandbar, you don't want to get on the boat to get drinks, you can just go ahead, get them from right here. Just like if you're at the sandbar, you don't want to go all oh, up to change the music. Come right here and adjust your music from right here. You have a door on this side, dive door, a live well, pull out bench. And this one actually has a bench here on the side, which I've never seen before. I have another extra seating right here on the side. Have another live well here in the back storage along the floors very nice has an opening here on the top so you can get some air these seats are very nice sturdy feel great more storage here on the bottom here's their head very nice and clean great size for a 27 there goes your table right there these are hydraulic they go up and down you have for your five gallon, gallon bucket down here, and you have storage under this seat right here. I like the fact that it has a windshield wiper too. Yeah. Wish it went all the way to the top, but I get it. Makes the car a lot, makes the boat a lot more fresh, you know? And this too, so when on a hot day, the air circulates, stay nice and fresh. But really like this model. And for 204, that is not bad at all. Very solid boat. All right, this is their 31. It has twin 400s. It's kind of the same layout as the 27, just a lot bigger. I'm gonna double check on the price now for you guys. That is the exact same layout as the 27 I just showed you guys, just with a lot more horsepower, a lot wider. 
and a lot longer, of course. Let's check the head of this guy. Nice size right here. Way bigger on this. It's crazy what just four feet does, but super, super wide up here. Also, this boat has one of the highest gunnels in the class, if you guys see here, here with my hip level, and up here is even taller. So that's a really cool feature about this boat. Seats even bigger on this one. These are very nice. All right, guys, now let's check out the Sportsman lineup. We're starting here with a 23-foot Sportsman, 132,000. My boy Andy actually has one of these. He followed me all the way to Bimini, so these boats are proven in my book. Nice helm area here. Have both live wells pull out right there for the cooler, your head area. Hey man, we're gonna have to get you on the dark side over here at Sportsman, brother. <laughs> How's it going, bro? Up, nice to meet you, man. You. Thank I've you, man. You Front right here, they have for the table and the Sportsman. I do like that it's enclosed. I think this is the boat, the only 23 I've seen that has a full enclosure. So that's really good on these boats. And for the price, 130, it's very good. Let's see, double check, 132. All right then, next up is the 25. They have it here at the boat show for 164. This one has the twin 150s. Have your dual Garmin screens here. In the bottom for the cooler that pulls out. Nice seating here. Head's a little bit bigger than the other one. Nice wide area here. So for 30,000 more, you can get the next step up. This is a 25. Right next up is the 28. Boat show price is 250,000. This one has Sea Keeper, dual dive doors. You also have live wheels on both sides. Twin 300 Yamahas, the bench seat right here. These doors look massive, look at this. Station right here, full of all kind of cabinets, wash down. The helm area, very nice, clean. Screens will get a little bit bigger, but I'm sure that's an option you can get. See the head here, nice size head, very nice. Hydraulic table that goes up and down, very cool. Storage also here. I like that it's full enclosure also. Very solid boat. I just crossed on my next video with a 30 foot sportsman, you guys are gonna see the video after this one. Alrighty guys, so this is a Sportsman 32 and I have my friend here, Will, that actually is a subscriber of mine and has this boat, his very own, and he's gonna walk us through and tell us all the features on his boat. And we're gonna start back here um, on the back side of the boat. So tell us, how, how do you like your boat? Well, first of all, uh, being a proud 332 owner, I can tell you right now, that this boat is phenomenal in class. I'm gonna get Ariel off the dark side and he's gonna come see the light <laughs> in Sportsman and we're gonna make it happen. First of all, you see this deck space back here. I'm 6'1", and I, I can tell you right now, with these V10 engines, this boat freaking does phenomenal. When we went to West End, the Bahamas on Memorial Day weekend, uh, everybody knows how the chop was. I got stopped by the Coast Guard because they said that I was doing uh, smuggler speed. True story. <laughs> so listen, you have this right here. This is another option with the with the uh, the drawers for storage and so mm -hmm. forth. You can also have this be another seating area. Okay. Right here, you have best in class, best oh, wow. in class billet space, yep. uh, sea, sea keeper. keeper pod build out area. There's also light in here, but obviously at the show you don't see that. No. But I'm telling you, it's plenty of space for all your all your knickknacks. 
Now I gotta ask you, well, what type of top speed are you seeing with these 400s? Uh, the top speed that I've had on the 400s has been 63 miles an hour so far. Nice. Uh, I think I could get a little bit more Is because that I still out? I still haven't got a flat day yet. Okay. And I'm telling you, the bowl freaking. I typically run anywhere from 40 to 43 miles an hour wherever I go because the boat just wants to go fast. Right. Uh, you have here with Sportsman, you're always going to get the dual, dual side dual. doors. Yep. You have the area here. You have the sink awesome. area. Mm -hmm. The wash down sink here. Awesome. Uh, all of that good stuff. You can spin around so, here. Take me here to the helm. The helm. This is where, where your office is. This is the office. This <laughs> is where the magic happens. You have uh, two nice size boxes down at the bottom. You have a place for your phone with the digital charger that you just sit the phone on top of. Awesome. Uh, you have another cutout area here. Uh, fully enclosed. Fully enclosed with glass, none of that eyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also get the side fenders if you need that kind of stuff. The wings. And even though they have the 6040 bench seat here, what you can also do is get the release marine seating, which takes the boat up to another level. You get the oak wood trimmed out and everything. Nice. What, but what I really like and find attractive about Sportsman in particular is that they have all digital switching. So you don't have to worry about the switching the and then yep. there's redundancy inside the cabin where you can have the fuses and overrides and all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about that. We got a nice little box here. Storage. On my boat, we have the dual radios. Uh, which is awesome when you're going over to the Bahamas. Uh, now, wait, it, before you go, I see, I saw here these little ducks. Does that mean oh, yep. that they this have has air AC? Condition, air condition. You got to have an AC. The air condition system is another option that I decided to get. The only option that I don't personally have because I'm not a big fisherman is the sea keeper. Right. I'm moving. I'm not sitting around in the water. So I don't have it. I was just telling one of the sales guys that I want to add it now mm -hmm. just so I can have all the options and right. make the boat even that much better. Mm -hmm. uh, the sound system on Sportsman here is all Fusion, all Garmin. Uh, you got 17 inch uh, MFDs right here, all touch screen. You got the, the, the window up top where you can get some ventilation right. in. Uh, I mean, you got the best of view display. You got, the, I mean, the sound system on this boat is just no, incredible. You got two, you got two sub, uh, 10 inch subwoofers, there's right, 12 the speakers. Side, yeah. You have the gunnels on the sides. Mm -hmm. You have midship storage boxes. Take, take us to the bottom. You have the new, the, the new uh, charging system, mm -hmm. the 30 amp charging. Uh, the bow, I mean, I can 100% attest that the fish boxes are a hundred percent insulated insulated yep I mean, one on each side one on each side storage for days we go over there we didn't have a problem you have the uh, retractable table that goes up and down have obviously you had any for problems the show, with the retractable table i have zero problems with it to date uh this storage box here we oh, wow, we huge. use it dry but it's huge uh this is a great place to keep women's purses all the valuables bags and stuff that you don't want you and know this, anybody is a, to get. this is a popular seat huh? oh man <laughs> this is and, and mine is like i said with the uh, release marine so i mean the hard top is another thing that you gotta mention because the the um the extra large hard top is truly a a a a, a, a marvel when it comes to the sun i mean i have the sunshade but I don't use the sunshade right. because the top is so big. I sit yeah. at the helm I mean, and I'm I, good to go. I'm standing here alongside this and this is almost covering me right I mean, here. the, 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 the hard top, out. you got dual fuel fills. You got all digital lighting everywhere on the boat. I mean, the, just the, the whole layout. And like I said before, I'm 6'1", and I can sit anywhere in this boat with no problem, lounging, chilling. I mean, awesome. obviously the table is up now. Right. I don't want to go up top, but the the the, the locker and everything there. is everything. The boat is just really, really sound. And like I said, when you come, when you're talking about a more inexpensive boat, unlike you know maybe say uh, Yellowfin, right. uh, you want to talk about Everglades. Mm, I don't know if it's worth the extra four hundred thousand. I'm exactly. just being honest. Yeah, I'm just, but when you're saying. talking about the other boats in class, nobody, including what Ariel has, <laughs> uh, no offense, no, no, but I'm they are not touching sportsmen. For the fit and finish from everything that comes standard, I mean, it's just, and we didn't even get to the head yet. And again, I told you I'm 6'1". So look, look at me standing in the head. 
Wow. I'm standing completely up. Yep. Hair's not touching. I'm I'm slapping the top of the thing. And you got a you bunch got, of storage. You got another there. space. There's actually room for one to lay down here. It comes with the cushions, the filler cushions to go in. Wow. Uh, the, the the pump out, I mean yep. the, the flushing head yep. here. I see it. Right underneath. Beautiful. Vacuum flush head. And it even has these compartments where you can put rod storage. Oh wow, yeah. On the bottom. So you floor. can stand them up right there. Look at look how clean. The uh, they might have this lock. Nope, they don't. Look how clean the setup is. Oh, yeah. Everything Very is clean. Well done. You got the, the, the medics. You got the seat keeper controls in here. Another cool thing when you get the Merc engines is the, the keys. keys are inside. Yep. So you lock your head, you're good to go. And Safe. me personally, I have a ghost alarm system. So you got the, the, the ladder here. Mm -hmm. Storage for the ladder here. Easy access. You got the table for the rear. The mount for the rear. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't get the seat inside and then right. here, this is where you do all your servicing. So you put the here, this is a smart plug for the, uh, to run the checks on the engine and so forth. So you don't even have to go back to the engines. Right. It's already connected inside boat, the boat. My boat definitely don't got that. <laughs> Another benefit to having Mercs, man. Yep. And, and these boxes on the side, Huge. just phenomenal storage. Mm -hmm. They self drain overboard. You don't have to worry that's about. One, that's one complaint I have about mine. See how I have no storage on the front, it's only here on the front. Listen, so, and then we didn't even see the back fish boxes. These fish boxes are, are ginormous. Holy crap, huge. And I mean, they, they macerate it, pump out, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. That's awesome. And man. in the back, I mean, the business end of the boat, <laughs> you got a boarding ladder on the back. I mean, from top to bottom, I can tell you, that if you're in the market for anything close to the price point of Sportsman, you hit the mark right now. This is like the bullseye and you better go get it. Guys, this was on one take and he's got me convinced already. I mean, that was awesome, I appreciate that. Hey Ariel, I appreciate you, and, man. And next time we see each other, we're gonna see each other in the water. That's what's All up. Right? <laughs> this is a 35 Sportsman, twin 300s. Kind of like the layout, how Will just told me on his 32, just of course a little bit bigger. This one actually has a bench seat here. No buttons on this boat, everything here, all your switches, everything is here, electric. Three, yep, 22 inch screens. Got your joystick, you have three seats. Wow, this feels way bigger than the Cobia for sure. This area here. Yeah, the table goes up and down, but this, this area here feels way bigger. I don't know how it's a 35, but it feels way bigger. Look, I don't have I don't I don't have that either, where you could change your your radio from yeah, the that front. Was also on 32 the well. Your table that goes up and down, storage of course. That, this probably huge in here. There's yeah, a smaller one. There's two slides forward. Mm -hmm. It's nice. No, and the stitching on, I really like I really like the stitching. And then this in here is way is there, there's people there's people oh, in there. No, no, they, 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 they come, come out? out. Okay. This is way bigger than the Cobia. Cobia ain't got that. No. Nah. I'll sleep a little bit better in this one, I think. Got your AC, got everything. I've been in it for, I've been at it for a year now. Down there in the Keys, you know. I grew up down there in, in uh, Look at the now, storage. The Look at that. That's the building, the Seakeeper pot. Put, mm -hmm. a, put a Seakeeper 3 down in there. But if you don't have the secret, that's a perfect place to put all your stuff. Storage, you go in a Bimini, put all your dye gear down. Yep, I usually have to put mines in the. Um, and then I see some metal like in Testonia. Alright, guys, here we're in Contender. You guys know Contender are very famous boats. Let's see if I could find a 30 Contender to kind of compare it to mines. Because these are just huge animals right here. <laughs> Let's see. Not the middle of the year. So this is a contender right here, a 30, I believe. Yes, has the twin 300s. Just like the Invincible and the other boats, these boats are very plain. Just have the two wheels right here. You have a fold up. This one actually has this, because not a lot of them even have this. You have your cooler. Hey, how's it going? I'm a follower. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for the support. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, I actually got one coming up. 
So as you guys see here, these are very plain boats. These bench seats here, no armrests, anything like that. This is not even glass. Very nice chair. This one actually has forward seating because this is not standard whatsoever. This is an extra feature. And these boats are just performance boats, fish killing machines. This one doesn't have the price on it, but this boat is probably close to the 400,000 price range. All right, guys, so we already saw all the things that they have to offer here in the convention center. We're going to take the water taxi and go to the other part of the boat show where they got the yachts and all the other things, more boats to check out. So we're going to head that way now. But before we're going to go up to the media lounge, get a couple waters, take advantage of the perks before we head over. All right, guys, so we're walking over to the water taxi to see the rest of the boat show. Alrighty, we got here to where we get on the water taxi. Alrighty, we're waiting here for the water taxi. I think it's that yellow one coming over, so... Once she gets here, we're gonna jump right over instead of having to take the shuttle that goes all the way through the traffic to the other side. We made it here to the floating docks. Look at these bad boys. Way out of my tax bracket. But holy shit. These boats are beautiful. <laughs> Look at this thing. Golden eye. What the hell is that? Is that even a boat? Holy crap. Look at these little things right here. Look at that. Helicopter. Motorcycles. There's levels to the game, guys. Levels to the game. I love these MTIs. If you like fast boats, MTI is one of them. These boats have been popping up here in Miami. These skippers are like really good. Very high top speed. And I like them. Wow, look at this. Limited Express. Check this out. How much are you willing to pay for it? This is it right here. I would love to have one of these. 37 open. Another boat that I put up there with Invincible, um, with Yellowfin, are the CVs. I think this is a 30, this is 29, so is it kind of the same category that my boat is in? Very simple, kind of like contender performance boats. In this area, you have all the vendors, all kinds of things that you can get for a boat. Jewelry, lifts, all kinds of stuff. All right, guys, we're here with Everglades. They have a 24 here for 180. Pop-up chairs, nice little live well, helm area. Oh, they got that big, big floating thing, the big uh, bow area, really nice. 
And this is a 26. Very nice setup. Comes with a 400 V10. This one goes for 236. Let's check out this guy right here. 27 for 328. Oh, nice boat. This is a 28. 381,000. Twin 300s, nice helm area. Nice big house. Very nice, comfortable bow area, too. This is the 31. Center console, Everglades. Love the wood and how you can put your cup holders here. Back seating, these two seats pull out. Huge Garmin screens. Not a big fan of the wood, but it really goes good with this boat. Huge head inside, huge coffin seat. Love that table also. Very, very nice boat. This is the same 31, but option a little bit different. Has the cooler in the back instead of the two seats with a live station. Screens are a little bit smaller. Not as much wood, but still a beautiful boat. Here's what my wife wants. Now it's not an HCB anymore, now it's one of these. The more she's around boats, the more expensive taste she gets. Look at this thing. Jamie's down here. Beautiful. Now there's two companies that I can't come to a boat show and not check out. One of them being Cobia and the other one being Scout. They're very pretty. Let's talk to the guys here at Cobia and then we'll jump over to Scout. And I think I've showed you guys all the center consoles here at the boat show. This is the 30. Kind of competes with my boat. I'm not really a fan of coming in through the front, but that's how these Cobias are. All right, so this is the 30. Not much has really changed on these boats. Still got the pullout booth right here. This is the 30, by the way. Got your dive door on this side. Got your dual garment screen. Let's see if here they got a boat show price. Don't see it, I will ask them. You also have the front cushion up here with the table that goes up and down. Storage here on the bottoms. And nothing really different on the 30s. Don't see the price on it, but let's ask. Alrighty, this is the 35 Cobia. Same boat I have, except with the new 350s. Not much has changed here, guys. You know this boat very well. Boat show price is 443000 I'm going to be staying and doing some videos in the future. Me and my wife are going to be sleeping over on the boat. And let me show you the rest of the lineup. All right, this is the 26 center console. Pull out bench, like in all the Cobias. You have your live well, you have your Garmin home area here. This one does not have the raising table that starts at 30, but still nice. Little head area here. Very solid boat. This one is for, this 26 is 179. All right, guys, this is one of their scouts here. I believe this is a 25. Has the pull-out bench in the back, twin 200s. Nice little battle station, helm area. Let's check out the other ones. All right, this is the 24 version. Comes with a Yamaha 300. You have dive door in the back, pull-out bench seat, the little bench area here forward seating now they don't have the price actually they do 
The price for this boat is 162,000. So it's 24. All right, this is, I believe, the 30. Let me double check. This, this is the 305. It goes for 433,000. Not a big fan of these small garments and this whole kind of console thing here. It's kind of tight, as you guys see here. Me, myself, I'm kind of tight in between both. Nice full enclosure. Well, I would say enclosure, but there's a gap here, so it's not full enclosure. Boat does not seem as wide as the other 30s, but you have your pull-out Yeti. You have your bench seat that pulls out too. You have your dive door on this side. Let's check out the inside here. Oh wow, this is the first 30 I see that has a little bed. And I do want to say this tight, this area feels super tight here. Okay, bench can go here. Put your coffee. So yep, 433. Here we got some pursuit boats. Yeah, because that's some Boston that waiters. You guys, there's still another day that you guys have to enter to win this boat. It's Ocean Life Network. Right, let's start with this is their 25. Goes for 184, 182,000. I'm sorry. Look at that. It went up. It went up. It went up. All right, guys, here we have a 24 Pursuit. We actually were on a 21 Pursuit in Exumas. Very nice storage in the bottom, under the chairs. Very nice helm area, nice and clean. Dual garments. This boat is for 212000 Pull out bench. You have also your little live well with a 300 Yamaha. Coming up to the next one is a 26. I'm not sure how much this one's for. Let's check. 245. So costs more than a 30 game fish. I'm not a big fan of the small screens here, but. Alrighty, after the 28, they jump up to the 32. Let's check it out. I love these boats that extend past the trim tabs. It's really cool. Very nice bench right here, seating right here, so you can grill up your food. You have another bench that pulls out here. You have a live well, nice and big. You have your dive doors. Only on one side you have them, but there's a dive door. This is the helm area. It has three seats, three seating. Here in the bow, very nice wide bow. Not so pointy as other boats. Who is this one? Oh, this comes out electric. These things are electric. And this boat to come into the helm, you come in here kind of like the Grady White and the other boats through the front. Not that big of a bed, but very nice and comfy for a 32. And this boat is for 537,000. This is the 35, which I'm not even gonna look at. Ooh, man, it's nice. All right, guys, I think I've done all the center consoles that I found, but I got to get something to eat, man. It's about 4 o'clock. I've been here since 9 in the morning. Got to grab something to eat and take the water taxi back and call it a day. It's been a lot of boats, a lot of people that we've seen, a lot of subscribers, too. Some of y'all didn't want to be on camera. Some of you guys did. And 
see what we could get to eat out here. All right, I'm here. I met a subscriber. We've been talking for a while. He has these new wet towels that he's giving me one of them. He's actually giving me two of them, but this is his new channel that he's going to start. This is his brand. It's called Sandbar Mafia. I love the name of it. These are actually, you can dry anything with these. About Tell me minutes. about it. So, so these towels, if you get them completely wet, in about seven to 10 minutes, they're dry on the shine. That's awesome. and, and, and if they fall, if you look at them, they fold really, really small. Yeah, they can get, they can get nice and small. So you fold them. And these are you gonna you're gonna start to, to sell these? Yes, we already got uh, two different uh, two different colors right now. We're working on one for the Bahamas. Uh, okay. Once I get it, once I get that one, I'll get you one. You're gonna love now, that one. Now, if somebody wants to buy this, where can they find it? Uh, Instagram Kiwi Adventures uh, underscore FL or Sandbar Mafia. I'm gonna put that on the bottom for you guys, so, so you guys can find it. All, all right, right. I got, I, this is why I love coming to the Bo Show, meeting subscribers, meeting friends, networking. This is what it's all about. All right, appreciate all right. it. Thank you. So I'm heading back in the water taxi and look who I find. It's Socio Alamar. If you guys need anything from products, Suzuki's, right? Yeah. The Suzuki's. This is the guy that I'm gonna put his link in the description. Oye, la tienda, la tienda, que va a la tienda. La tienda, vamos a ir a la tienda. Yo voy a ir a la tienda a hacerle un videito ahí a la tienda. Vamos, gracias, vamos papá, a hacerlo. Gracias. No puedo ir a aquel día, pero vamos a ir esta vez. El año pasado nos encontramos aquí la también. La primera vez que los ya. conocimos fue aquí. Aquí en esta vez. So, Mira cómo es la vida, que ya yo me iba, él también y los vimos. Se va montando en el bote, mira, en el mar los vimos. En el mar los vimos, papá. We got a bigger water taxi on the way back. I don't know much about him, but apparently he did pretty good for himself. Alright guys, we're riding the water taxi back to the convention center. We got a way bigger one this time. Beautiful view out here for a lot of day. Now we're gonna get back to the convention center and jump in the car and call it a day. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2023. I hope you guys liked that video. Any information or anything you guys need, shoot me down in the comments. Tell me what was your favorite boat, what boat you looking to buy. I love talking with you guys, so any questions you guys might have, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments. And this is where I say bye to you guys, so make sure you hit the like, subscribe, notification button. You're not gonna wanna miss the next video. We got a nice little surprise on the way to Bibini, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.